The U.S. dollar exchange rate fell today, Tuesday, October 8, 2024, in the markets of Baghdad and Erbil in the Kurdistan region. The exchange rate of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar has witnessed a rise since the beginning of this week. It decreased with the opening of the al Kifa and al Harithiya stock exchanges to record 153,500 dinars for every $100, while yesterday, Monday, it recorded 154,900 dinars for every $100. Selling prices also decreased in exchange shops in local markets in Baghdad, where the selling price reached 154,500 while the purchase price reached 152,500 dinars for every $100. In Erbil, the dollar also recorded a decline in exchange shops, with the selling price at 153,800 dinars per dollar and the buying price at 153,700 dinars per $100. Oil prices were little changed in early Asian trade on Tuesday, with traders taking profits after prices hit their highest levels in more than a month on Monday amid fears the Middle East could be on the brink of all-out war. Fighting intensified in the Middle East after Lebanese Hezbollah guerrillas fired rockets at Israel's third-largest city, Haifa, on Monday, as Israel appeared poised to expand its ground incursion into southern Lebanon a year after a Hamas attack on Israel sparked the ongoing war in Gaza. Update Prices Brent crude futures fell 23 cents, or 0.3%, to 80.70 a barrel by 12.29 GMT. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures fell 20 cents, or 0.3%, to 76.94 a barrel, according to Reuters data. Crude oil futures jumped more than 3% on Monday to their highest since late August, extending last week's rally that saw the contract rise more than 8% in its biggest weekly gain in more than a year. Prices began to rise after Iran launched a missile attack on Israel on October 1. Israel vowed to respond and said it was considering its options and viewing Iranian oil facilities as a potential target. However, some analysts believe that an attack on Iranian oil infrastructure is unlikely, noting that oil prices could face significant downward pressure if Israel focuses on any other target. Analysts at Anz Bank noted on Friday that, even if an attack targeted Iranian oil facilities, there is 7 million barrels per day of spare supply capacity within OPEC to compensate for the loss of its oil production. Meanwhile, Hurricane Milton has strengthened to a Category 5 storm as it heads toward Florida after forcing at least one oil and gas platform in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico to shut down on Monday. U.S. crude oil inventories are expected to rise by 1.9 million barrels in the week to October 4, according to a preliminary Reuters poll. The American Petroleum Institute is due to release its report on U.S. inventories at 2030 GMT on Tuesday followed by the official report from the Energy Information Administration at 14.30 GMT on Wednesday.